theme park in the UK has very recently confirmed that one of the UK's best roller coasters is on its way and that's very exciting. Of course over the next few years we have many amazing investments coming to UK theme parks especially in 2024 where we're going to be seeing the likes of Project Exodus which is finally broken ground yes it looks amazing it's also broken Logger's Leap Station rest in peace. The Nemesis retrack Alton Towers where it's going to be coming back in a new form it's going to have a different colour guys <laughs> no one's ever said before the pigeon on my street told me Weird little prick. And of course, there's some other attractions on the way too. But here's where it gets very interesting. It was recently confirmed in an interview that a new roller coaster will be coming to a theme park in the northern hemisphere of the England. And in today's video, I'm not only going to talk about the news to do with this, I'm also going to speculate about it and then build it. Yes, you heard me. So if you do go on to enjoy this video and you want to see more just like this, then please subscribe. It'd be greatly appreciated. So yes, we've got a news flash. Everyone, calm down. Calm down. It's going to be okay. <laughs> Why am I doing this? A big new roller coaster is coming to the UK in 2024. Crazy. Where could it be, you may ask? Drayton Manor. I'm not going to go about saying it for longer than I already have. So at this point, questions may begin to fluctuate in your head. Isn't Drayton Manor solely a kids park with loads of kids rides, such as Harold's helicopter and Cranky's drop tower? Well, yes, but they have been expanding more and more into the family market, more so than just children. Like, of course, the new area Vikings. That had a few decently thrilling rides in it. They also have Shockwave as well. That's probably a better example. But besides the point, in an interview for Birmingham, <laughs> just Birmingham, yeah. Victoria Lynn, the managing director of Drayton Manor, said this. One of the key things we want to say is that in 2024, there will be a brand new family thrill coaster coming. That is an important message because we'll have some new stuff for 2023, but it won't be on that scale. If you build Harold Helicopters version 2, oh my god, that'll be way bigger, please. This is going to be one of the best coasters in the UK, in my opinion. That is a very big statement. I mean, obviously she said her opinion, so it could just be a usual statement of we're going to try and bring the best to our park, or it could literally be better than Icon. You never know. I think it's important to say that we are still doing family thrill rides and not just kid rides. We have already broken ground. Part of that was removing Apocalypse to pave the way. So that part basically confirms that the new coaster is going to be going where Apocalypse is. And as you can see, this area here. I couldn't tell you who predicted that first. <laughs> the pigeon outside. But no, jokes aside, that is brilliant news to hear. Drayton Manor have been on such an upwards trajectory since Adventure Cove was redone. And then, of course, Vikings last year. Whatever's coming this year. And now this new coaster. It's, it's going to be a very cool future indeed. And now we have to discuss what it could be. And yes, they could be getting a Gravity Group wooden roller coaster, or they could even be getting a Vacoma Shockwave. But I have always stuck to this, and I'm going to stick to it now. I've always stuck by the fact that Drayton Manor could do so much and would have so much potential if they built an Intamin Family Thrill launch coaster, much like Jet Sea Rescue at SeaWorld or even Hagrid's at Universal, Pegasus Express at Park Asterix, either or. My knowledge of roller coasters goes so beyond anyone else's knowledge just then because first of all, the coaster I showed is Wave Breaker, not Jet Sea Rescue, and Pegasus Express isn't even an Intamin, it's a Gerslauer. Oh, I'm so good at this. Because those rides aren't too intense, but they're a nice family experience that both thrill seekers and families can enjoy. Because they have that thrilling oomph to it, but they don't to a smile degree. A lot of these have two launches, even backward sections, so like, you know, that would be pretty cool. And I feel like it'd be a perfect fit for that area, considering how massive it is. I mean, to pay homage to Apocalypse, it could go up to 180 feet tall. That'd be cool. But with this one, I could see it having two or three launches, maybe one that's not as powerful as the other one, maybe even a backward section, like I said, or a drop track. Oh my God, imagine a drop track exactly where Apocalypse was. That'd be so wholesome. I want to see that. Obviously not a drop track that's 180 feet tall, just like 10 feet, but you know what I mean? But I think that'd be so good for Drayton Manor, and I'd be so down to see that. And as well, it would be a market that hasn't really been tapped into yet in the UK. As there's not really any other launched family coasters in our country. I mean, I say it could be a launch coaster, but it could be something completely different. As I said, Gravity Group Woody, Mac Multi Launch, Zamperla Volaire. But realistically, who am I to judge or predict this new coaster? Who am I to build it is another question. I have recreated the area in which this coaster is supposed to be built. And I'm going to go and build what I think this new Intamin Family launch coaster, whether it is actually that or not, I don't know, will look like at Drayton Manor. <laughs> completed my transformation. I am now safe. As you can see, I've got the hivers on you, so you can clearly see me. I've got the hot. 
Ow. I've got the hard hat on that will save me from inevitable death. We are on the park. Now, this is just a square version of this section of the park because obviously the park is a lot bigger in real life. And we're going to start with the lovely little multi launch roller coaster. So, as you can see, we've got the station here, and out of the station, I think we're going to do a nice little left. Or we can just do that. We're going to dip down here, as you can see, through the terrain. <laughs> And we're beginning to twist down towards the bulldozer on the floor near Apocalypse. What a near miss. And then we bank round here and um, we've gone into a tree again. Hang on, we're just going to go back and smooth it real quick because it needs some smoothing. <laughs> You can see we're keeping it in this sort of area here after the first launch just so it doesn't go too crazy and then we'll expand later and then as you can see here i'm going to do a contra flow launch system where one goes one way the other goes the other big airtime an engineer genius i've literally put this section between the two launches and it's going underneath an airtime hill <laughs> this is going to be a drop track exactly where apocalypse's station used to be now obviously drop tracks don't exist in planet coaster if you've played the game which is very annoying i've had to make do with this i proceeded to add an extra launch after the drop track then a helix and an airtime hill into the break run and for your viewing pleasure today here is the pov this took me a while so be sure to subscribe